Most of the people that come to the front door of the criminal justice system aren't criminals. They have some social need. What did you say? Most of the people that come to the front door of the criminal justice system aren't criminals. That's... That's what I thought you said. I got you. I will, I will defend my brothers, I will defend the weak I will pursue and fight evil so others may sleep I am the sheep dog, protecting the night Wolf hunters unite, bring it on, it's time to fight Hey guys, Mike the Cop Shout out to David Griffin for sending me this gem of a story Out of the Memphis area, Shelby County Where the district attorney has decided that the solution to reducing crime in a crime ridden area Is to send letters very stern letters to habitual criminals in the letter from me to this defendant was stop stop committing crime don't worry guys she means it now listen i get it she wants reduced crime in their community i want reduced crime in my community so we're on the same page as far as wanting less crime but a letter a letter who who gets letters do criminals go out in the morning in their slippers and robes and check the mail? Is is that a thing? Hello, neighbor. Yeah, just checking the mail. Can make some coffee. I'm gonna go shoplifting. Yeah, yeah, the usual. I mean, at least hit the modern man where they're at, right? Tweet at them. Uh, send him a Facebook message. Instagram. Slide into the DMs. Shoot. Put up a Snapchat that says "Stop committing crimes." I, I don't know, but basically, sending a letter is like sending a carrier pigeon at this point. So what does the letter actually say? Let's take a look. Dear so-and-so, for the last several months, our office has been working with the Memphis Police Department to identify the people in our city who commit the most crime. You are one of those people and we are asking you to stop. It's in bold letters, so you know I'm serious. Since 2016, you have been arrested 17 times for shoplifting, also in bold. You have convictions from Mississippi and Georgia. You served a 20 year sentence in Mississippi and are still committing crimes. This office is tired of it. This Memphis Police Department is tired of it. And most importantly, our community is tired of it. Hey Fred, uh, sorry I'm gonna have to cancel on our shoplifting plans later. Why would you wanna do that? We've been shoplifting for years. Yeah, well I got a letter. They said I, uh, said I needed to stop, so. Sounds pretty serious. A letter, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah, if you got a letter, you need to stop that stuff right now. Exactly. So this touches on one of the greatest frustrations I could have as a cop that I think a lot of cops share is that our responsibility is limited, right? We catch the bad guys. We go out, find them. It's great if you can and do preventative work, you know, whether it's uh, work in the community, building relationships with people in the community and you actually make a difference in someone's life and their perception and and they don't end up committing crimes that maybe they otherwise would have but most of the time let's be honest cops are reactive agents people call us we go um, and we try to catch the bad guys and lock them up but we don't get to judge them we don't get to sentence them and unfortunately our criminal justice system needs a lot of work when it comes to the consistency of when you commit a crime and you're convicted, you get a certain punishment. Quite simply, in most places, that has just gone out the door. But this whole thing did get me thinking, like if I was gonna write a letter to criminals, what would I say? Dear criminal turd, if you do not stop doing these ridiculous crimes in my city, I'm going to launch you in a human-sized slingshot through a brick wall into a vat of angry, bloodthirsty sharks. Sincerely, Mike the Cop. P.S. Your mom. So, yeah, send your letters. That's fine. Send the emails. Send people to knock on their doors and tell them, hey, you've been identified as a career criminal, a habitual criminal, and we're sick of it, so stop. Do that, great. But how about when we do lock them up and we do have the evidence to convict and they get convicted, that we actually punish them in a way that is going to prevent them from continuing to want to be habitual offenders. Or let's let's have that dialogue about 
what do we do with habitual offenders? How do we appropriately and effectively punish them or sentence them or deal with that issue? There are going to be some things that we need to do on the front end, uh, preventative maintenance, but we also need to be legitimately serious about how to handle that post-conviction and in the sentencing process in a way that makes a real statement beyond just bold and caps in a letter. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. Love to hear those and interact with you guys. Appreciate your support. See you next time.